What's so special about this guitar? Well, the first thing is it has no frets. So that it's, it's similar to, uh, it, well, I mean, you could compare it uh, uh, initially to a cellist, a cello or a violin, an upright bass, but more appropriately, it's, it's actually a cross between a guitar and a Middle Eastern instrument called an oud. An oud is a much shorter scale instrument with a very big, round, bulbous back. And it's not tuned like a guitar. It's, it's played just with a pick and it's played tremolo style and everything. But the idea here was uh, the Godin people took the guitar stripped the frets off of it, gave it 11 strings like the oud, and the strings on here are not metal all the way across. They're like a classical instrument. You have nylon and steel, okay, paired off like that. So the instrument in and of itself, the most unique thing it has is you can slide around and do that, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You can play very much just like a, on a violin. You can, you can, you know, play obviously without doing the sliding and you have its own very distinct sound. The, gu the guitar is also very interesting in the fact that you can play uh, quarter tones. Which are more often associated with uh, Eastern music or Indian music. Uh, which is very difficult to do on a regular guitar. You can bend the notes and some guys use whammy bars and all. But this instrument lets you kind of access that more easily. So. And I'm sure you go through all this in your workshop. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I'm just looking at that as I say, geez, I have one hour to do all this. I hope I can fit it all in. So. Well, if there's anyone interested in learning more from you, is there a website or contact information? MattRichardsMusic.net. They can uh, uh, stop at my website. Um, in fact, I think right now, if I'm not mistaken, there's the, uh, the, the on the opening page, there's a video of me playing. I shot the sheriff at the, pr at the uh, Princeton... Uh, arts, uh, they had their, their arts center over there, the, the Paul Robeson Center in Princeton, New Jersey. They were doing a, a program there. I don't know if they're still doing it the, uh, the last Saturday of every month. And they put it on the local TV station. They also recorded for it. So I did an appearance there and I happened to play I Shot the Sheriff, my own. Wait, I don't, I don't sing. So I did my own, instru hopefully interesting version of it. So that's right on the website when you go on there. But the website's got some things from my jazz trio, some things from my solo. My biography's on there, you know, and you can buy CDs on there. I, Pretty much, in every, there's even pictures of all my guitars on there. So for all the guitar aficionados out there, please stop by. How many guitars do you own? Not that many, actually. Okay. Um, probably at this point, like eight. Okay. I'm not a guitar collector. I, all the instruments I own, I own them for a specific purpose. In other words, I would never own like three of these just to have them. I have one because I use it for my music. I have, I have one solid body guitar, I use it for my music. If I had three or four, then to me it's like I'd start to feel guilty that they weren't getting played and then I'd be taking them out before you know it. I'd just be sitting there all day playing guitars and there's, there's one gentleman saying changing strings and just, you know, doing all that and I would forget to, you know, have a life other than that, so. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt, for joining us. You're welcome, Vivian. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I hope you join us uh, for Matt Richards' guitar pro workshop. Thank you. Bye-bye.